I can't stand when people do the trick that way. You're not even going around the ball. Very painful to watch. This weekend I was in the south of Norway. It's actually so far south that you are almost west. So the place is called Farsund and it took me about seven hours to drive. So it came so many kids that we were able to organize a tournament and this is really cool when it's enough kids that wants to play. So I think we had like 16 kids playing. Yeah, we got 16 so we were able to make a tournament. Uh, the level was quite good. The final was between a guy called Fredrik against another guy called Mohammed, And it was first to three goals or a panna. And both of them were quite good. They were in age of 13, 12, 13, something like this, I think. And uh, Frederick won 3-2 in the final, so congratulations. And he won a grip ball. Everyone that wins my tournament will get a ball. Uh, if you want to buy this ball, you can do it on my website. Link is in the description. Probably later this week I will make a short, not review, more like a commercial since I'm making the ball. <laughs> uh, but an honest one, why Why it's a good ball and, and uh, what is the advantage, what is not so good about it. So probably on Thursday you can see episode about reason to buy a grip ball. Uh, <coughs> Because I am sick today, I'm not going to go to training. I'm going to rest at home, watch some movies and just try to get well as fast as possible. Instead, I will just answer a few questions. Okay, so the first one is a complaint. I will uh, take this now. <laughs> he comments, please say the name of the people when you're saying the question they ask. Uh, yeah, that's cool if you, your account is a name, but Smith Football, I don't know, it doesn't feel, feel so personal to talk to a lot of accounts when uh, it's not a real name or a nickname or whatever, it's just some, I don't know, crazy football, Smith Football. Maybe your name is Smith, so I can call you Mr. Smith. Uh, but uh, yeah, I kind of agree. I should mention the names. Mr. Smith is asking, can you do score a move or alternative score a move? It's not a trick that I focus on. And the main reason is that I don't think it looks very nice. I think the movement is ugly. So I rather spend the time on doing like Shimo, HDLATV, PATV. Yeah, so people ask me very often, do you have some special diet? The answer to that is yes and no. Basically, I eat everything and I probably eat a lot of stuff that I shouldn't eat. But also, I try to eat healthy stuff. I don't know if it helps, but I like it. What would be really cool is if your guys are writing your real name after the question. Like, blah blah blah, I wonder about this. And uh, then you just write your name in the end. Because it's much nicer if I can mention your name. Next one is from Kartikfs. Kartikfs7799. 
He is asking if it's necessary to learn the Magellan before Beckett. Nothing is necessary to learn. You can, like I said before, you can do, you can just learn any trick by not knowing anything before. But I think it's a good idea to learn the Magellan. Uh, here's a question in Norwegian, is from Set Random Norsk Gaming. Er du verdens beste fotballtrikser? He's asking if I'm the best freestyler in the world. I think it's up to each and every one of you. Who do you think is the best freestyler in the world? If someone is saying I'm the best freestyler in the world, I am, I am the best, he probably isn't that good. Next question is from Some Sports TV. Why don't they call it reverse ATA TV? Because there is another ATA TV which is Hop the World plus crossover. The trick you are talking about is AMA TV. The outside with the cross is Tusani, the inside with the cross is Mitch. But to call it reverse would be wrong anyway, because if you take ATATV and rewind it, just film it and rewind it, I think it will look like Abbas around the world actually. Here is a question from Kim Heng FS. What time do you use to train because in Cambodia it's really hot, it's only time to train, it's from 5 to night. Is it enough time, bro? To compare it, in Norway it's really cold in the winter, so we practice indoor. If you have the opportunity to practice indoor if it's too hot outside, that would be a good advice. But anyway, from 5 to... is it midnight? From 5 to midnight? That's definitely enough hours. Practice indoor if it's too hot outside. If you don't have the opportunity, it's fine to practice in the evening. Uh, next one is from Pankai Suryal. Suryal. I probably pronounced it wrong. Anyway, he's asking if 30 minutes daily practice is enough to learn Dragon Stall. Or if you should practice more than that. I think 30 minutes is perfectly fine to learn a trick. I think you shouldn't practice too much because it would, will cause injury or it can cause injury. Especially on tricks that you are moving your body in different directions. But of course the dragon stall you just place the ball on the foot in the beginning and try to find the balance. So balance tricks you can practice more. But I think it's better to practice 30 minutes every day on some trick than to practice for three hours and then take one week break. It's more about being consistent in the training and practice every day. Uh, next one is a comment from Neil Vaira. Neil Vaira. Neil Vaira. 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 Neil Vaira. I don't know. Sorry, but I have to say zero feet. Yeah, it's a trick that I did. Was one of the worst, most unclean I ever seen and the uh, other trick was even worse. I can't stand when people do the trick that way. You're not even going around the ball. Very painful to watch. I'm sorry for your pain. I feel your pain. Uh, and I'm sorry that the trick wasn't good enough. Uh, the point was that I wanted to start train this trick again. Hopefully it will get better soon. So uh, thank you for that feedback. <laughs> Uh, I read a lot of comments about that if you are going to the ground or not. I personally hate when people are stepping the foot in the ground and then going over. Uh, for me it's, it's almost a different trick. I don't like it. I want to have the leg in the air and then go over. Of course it should be more over, I agree on that. Um, so I have to work more on this. but. I don't want to do the trick in the ground. I can do it and I think it's easier if you are stepping in the ground because you are gaining force from the ground. So it's actually almost not a no touch I would say. It's a bit cheating. Next question is from Random Alt Air. Do you think having flexible leg is vital to, to do certain tricks? For example... Yeah, I'm too cold to do this now. I don't want to pull a muscle, 
but usually I can touch my feet and it's a good way to be flexible. The more important is that you're flexible here. Of course it's a huge advantage to be flexible, you can lift your leg much higher up in the air. The only bad thing is that you may kick yourself at the place where it hurts the most. Question from Max Tan. I am a beginner and I don't know why my ankles are strained after 50 minutes of training. I'm not sure about what you mean strained. Uh, I need to Google translate that. Unstrengt in Norwegian? I don't know. Yeah, you have some issue with your ankle. I'm very careful about giving advice on stuff like this. I think you should talk with some physiotherapeut. Physio? Physio? It's in English? Yeah, I think so. I don't want to give you advice because I don't know what's wrong with your ankle and I don't want you to hurt yourself even more. So I will recommend take a break, go talk with some expert in this and uh, hear him out. But it's normal to feel pain when you are starting up. A quick one on the last competition because someone commented if they can get a ball. Daniel Dean Boy, he won the football. I gave him a football. We had one training session together. He's a young guy that really wants to learn freestyle. So he takes part in Instagram competitions and he comments a lot. So that's why he won the football and I gave it to him and we had a training session together. That was the Q&A today. I'm going to go to bed and watch a movie and rest and on Thursday will be a new episode. So now it's coming Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. If you have any wishes for tricks or what kind of episodes you want, uh, <coughs> yeah, whatever, write in the comment field. And if you liked this video or my other videos, thumbs up. There is some button. I never get this right. I will go with this side now. You can subscribe to the channel here. And on this side, <coughs> on this side, there will be two videos that you can click. So thank you for watching and see you in a couple of days.